Welcome to this episode of Dudley's Coaching Corner, where you can always find me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and my website, daviddudley.com. Today, we're going to be discussing curiosity. We all know this statement, curiosity killed the what? Cat. And you can also say curiosity caught the what? The fish. How many of y'all actually think that when a fish bites your lure, he's biting because he's always hungry? That's the kind of the mindset that is accepted over the years that, you know, that fish was hungry. Boy, oh man, he swallowed that. I bet you he was hungry. You know, it's not the case. If I had to probably give a percentage of, of when I think a fish is biting and he's not biting because he's hungry, is 70% of the time I think it happens out of curiosity or a reaction type thing. What I mean by that, <clears throat> we know that curiosity killed the cat, but fish also are curious. What I mean by that is this, is that, think about this. If you take a chartreuse and blue crankbait and throw it out there and you're coming down through the water and that fish goes, I mean, seriously, have you ever seen a chartreuse and blue crankbait or a pink bubblegum worm? Have you ever seen a pink nightcrawler fall out the sky and just start flapping its wings like, come get me? No, you haven't. I haven't, and if you have, I wanna know where he's at. So here's what I'm saying, <clears throat> is a, a bass looks at the same type of food all his life, which means he looks at a shad, the same color of a shad, the same color of a bluegill, and the same color of a crawdad. The second you have something different, he's like, whoa. I mean, if you had to eat hamburgers, hot dogs, and french fries your whole life, and then all of a sudden you see a french fry come by, and it's like a different color, and it looks something different, you're ready for a change. Well, the same thing happens with the bass. His curiosity is always at a high level. I mean, think about this. How many times have you taken something that looks pretty much dumb and stupid and threw it out there. He goes like this. If I want to look at something and I want to say, hey, you know, what is this? I'm going to go, huh, it's soft, it's rough. I don't know. I don't know what that is. What just happened? I got caught. I literally just got caught. But the thing is, I have hands. But in order for a fish to look at something, he's got to do what? Investigate something? Get curious about it? He's like, hey, what? Hmm, it's soft. And about that time, we're like, I got you. Now, was he biting that out of hunger? Was he biting that out of, because that's what I want to eat? No. He was literally going down on that saying, huh, I'm ready for a change. This cheeseburger has gotten old. I want something else to eat. Think about this. What does a beaver style bait look like in the water or a creature bait? How many of y'all have ever seen something? So this is what I'm telling you. Curiosity and reaction strikes are the two most important keys to catching lots of fish. Reaction strikes are this. If I was to take an object, say for instance, this. If I was to take an object and I'm sitting here in a stand and I go, oh, what did I just do? I reacted. I didn't want it hitting me. You know, I'm sat down on one place. I'm anchored in and all of a sudden, oh, but look, look at this. I have hands. I just stopped it with my hands. If a bass is reacting to something or he wants to get out of the way of something or intimidate something, buck up and say, you better quit coming in my turf. What is he going to do? In order for him to carry this away, he can only carry it in one spot. That's his mouth. He can't grab it and go swimming off with like he's got hands. Come on, get real. So think about this. Curiosity and reaction strikes are going to increase your catch ratio probably 100% if you learn how to make them get curious or react to your bait. Another thing you want to think about on reaction bite is this. If you got a stump and you're he's sitting by that stump, you've heard us say, throw back at that stump four or five times and then all of a sudden he hit it. Well, think about this. What if you came by that stump and he was like, whew, you better 
don't come through here again. And all of a sudden you come by that stump again and he's like, hey, stay away. And all, he's getting mad. He's not hungry. He just ate probably 10 shad. And all of a sudden you come by it again and he's like, I told you not to get by me. Boom. And he goes and bites it and we're raising our hands up like we figured out the best color in the world. Like I switched to a black and chartreuse tail square crank mate with a red hook and a black and yellow back hook with colored o-rings on it and that's what they wanted today no he just reacted to your bait because you did the right thing to make him react whether you know it or not so as a fisherman consider the things that i've said and you'll increase your catch ratio thanks for joining me on dudley's coaching corner